Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome to Hungry's Holiday Kitchen. I'm Jackie Sorkin, and I am owner of a super sweet candy and dessert catering company known as the Hollywood Candy Girls. Today, my favorite super simple master mix cookie dough. I use this to make all kinds of cookies, cookie bars, even cookie crust. Starting with two sticks of softened butter, I'm going to add my confectioner sugar. I use softened butter because it's easier to mix everything in. It makes everything easier. Everything should be easy, easy. I'm going to do two capfuls of vanilla extract, a little pinch of salt. I'm gonna cream the butter. And as soon as that's nice and creamy, I'm gonna add in my flour. It's a lot of flour, so let me do a little bit at a time. So I just want to blend in everything. Okay, that's ready to go. I'm gonna take half of it. I'm gonna go ahead and put it on my plastic wrap, kind of flatten it into a little disc. And I'm gonna save this portion for my other cookies. Put this in the fridge and let it cool. Let's take about a tablespoon of dough and just hand roll it into little balls. I've already greased this cookie sheet. And then I just take the palm of my hand and just do a palm press. And these are going to be part of my Alfajor Dulce de Leche chocolate chip cookie sandwiches. Alfajores are actually a cookie that I grew up eating. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room between each cookie because when they cook and bake, they will spread just a little bit more. Now I'm done with my first sheet. I'm gonna pop these into the oven, let them bake for 15 to 20. Let's we'll start on our next cookie. My dough's been chilling, 20 minutes, it's ready to go. This next cookie, the real simple shortbread cookie, really fun for kids, my kids love it. I'm gonna flour my board so nothing sticks. I'm gonna take my dough. I wanna roll this until it's about 1 8 inch thick. And it is a very crumbly dough, so if it starts to break apart on you just a little, you just gotta push it back with your hands. So now I'm gonna take my cookie cutter, Try to cut out 12 little circles here. One. This is the fun part about this cookie. You take a simple straw, you poke a hole towards the top, and then what I do when these are baked, I'm gonna stick a ribbon through them. And just move these onto my greased pan. I think my first round of cookies is all done. I'm gonna trade this out. So I'm only gonna cook those for about 10 minutes. And these are all ready for our chocolate chip dulce de leche, super glamorous glitter alfajores. It's dulce de leche, which is a caramel milk chocolate mix. Put a couple spoons, you just go for it. Mini chocolate chips, just a couple handfuls. Just a big glop. No precision needed. Grab my second cookie, make a sandwich, and I'll get six out of this entire tray. And just to up the sweetness, I've melted a little bit of white chocolate, and I'm gonna dip each one of these guys in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this beautiful golden sanding sugar. I just call it edible glitter, because you can eat it, and it looks like glitter, and girls love it. And I think that men secretly love it too. Try this golden color now. This one looks like brown sugar. Once they're baked, they've got that little hole. It's already been made. And when you decorate these, after you ice them, decorate them, and dry them, you take a little piece of ribbon, just tie it together, and now you've even got edible ornaments for your tree. So now my royal icing, confectioner sugar, a little bit of water, and it's gonna turn into a paste. It's almost like a glue. I also call this candy glue. Take the cookie, dip it in, face down. I think we're ready to decorate. I'll play with some candy pieces. And if you press too hard, you might crack the cookie. This dough is super 
versatile. You know, the alfajor is a lot more dense. It's got a real creamy center. And I think that the real simple shortbread cookie is fun for the kids. It's simple, it's a lot thinner, and they can use it to decorate and have a lot of fun with. Oh, it's delicious. Okay, guys, so I want you to look for the recipe below. And happy holidays from Hungry's Holiday Kitchen.